What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divas? Look, I always say I saved the best for last, girl. You know I did. This is the fourth video of the day, and this is the best for last. Look, I even put on a shirt just to match my wig for the day. I mean, I'm just saying, you definitely got to come through when you rocking with this company. So, of course, you guys want to meet my little friends. Here she goes. She's rocking a wig. I think she rocks this wig, like, so well. She just looks so cute in it. It made me not even want to take it off of her. But, girl, I'm ready for this style. You know I love this company. And I think my girl thinks she is so cute. Like, just meet my little friend. Y'all already know it is my first wig. It's time to go and do this video. I got this wig yesterday. I didn't do anything to it, but just put her on the mannequin head do my little intro part and that's it i didn't have to bleach it oh my god i didn't even pluck it so you know we just gonna go this is straight out the box nothing done to it so we're just gonna wing it we're gonna go with it we're just gonna wing it if i do need to pre-pluck it then i guess i will but i got my hot comb ready i got my scissors ready girl i'm ready to go look at this wig she's absolutely pretty look i didn't have to bleach it because it already came bleached combs elastic band that's already sewn in it's always in the right spot and the adjustable strap in the back and the nape and the comb more should i say but let's get into this video okay it's not that i don't Down to keep you out of my mind. It's strange to be here alone. Yeah, a place that we used to go all the time. I need to do this alone, so just stop calling me out. Just realize that we're done. Don't come back. And I need to do this alone, so just stop calling me. Just realize that we're done, I won't come back I have dreams about us I just want it to stop Because I miss you so much I miss the way we touch And I need to make it stop Trying to save myself Don't wanna be here alone No, no A place we used to go all the time I need to do this alone So just stop calling me up Just realize that we're done Don't come back And I need to do this alone So just stop calling me up all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and get into this video from my first wig you guys know how much i love them along with their sister company rpg show if you're looking for a really great wig and you want it to last and look as natural as possible and forget that you're wearing a wig i highly suggest you check them out so with this wax stick which is their flyaway tamer it's really great for pressing your hair with a hot comb or flat iron especially if you want it to lay flat and flush to your own head so I went ahead and just put some onto the part and the edges and I'm just gonna take my hot comb and just you know comb through it leaving and make leaving the lace on makes makes it a lot easier for me to hot comb it especially on myself and not on you know what I'm saying <sighs> The mannequin head i normally do this on the mannequin head but for video sakes i didn't even bother doing anything to this wig but taking out the box recording it on my mannequin head and then placing it on my own head so that is what i'm doing now i didn't even wash it i didn't even bleach it i didn't even pre-pluck it when you're using a hot comb you want to make sure that it is 
you know, nice and hot and ready, but you also want to make sure that you don't burn your skin. Because, girl, you look cute with a wig on, but you don't want a whole bunch of scars on your head while you're trying to look cute. So I highly suggest trying to either put a scarf on if you're going to do it on yourself or leave the lace on. Now, also really important, make sure you have some tools on hand, like the ones I'm showing you here, which are clips. This is really great to style your hair, hold your hair back as you are cutting the lace. And as you've seen, I did cut above my ear because the wig was a tad bit, a little big, which was over flapping my ear. So right here is where I'm just going to take my um, finger and just make a part right above the ear. I do this because it will ensure that the wig lays as flat as possible and looks as natural as possible. This is definitely not going to destroy your wig and it's definitely not going to take away from it, but it will allow your wig to lay flat. So if your wig is ever overlapping your ear, you just want to go ahead and part directly above and cut that excess lace off. And this is the part where you're definitely going to want to cut the lace off, unless you want everyone to know that you got on a wig, girl. Now sometimes, I'm just going to be honest, sometimes for me it's really hard to cut the lace on a My First Wigs unit along with an RPG Show unit. And it's not a bad thing, it has to do with the lace. It's very sheer, it's transparent, it's their Swiss tinted lace. So sometimes if you don't have really 100% good eyes, the lace can be a little hard to see. So that is the reason why I say it's a little difficult for me at times to cut the lace. Now being that I forgot to pre-pluck the wig, I'm just gonna wing it and go for it. And I have trust in my first wigs that this is gonna turn out all right. Do you see the parting space? Do you see the bleach? I didn't have to do anything. This is definitely a beginner friendly wig, a lazy girl wig. It's just a good wig for anybody, girl. This is a believable wig, meaning it's believable that it's your hair, honey. They have the most amazing wigs and you do, you are able to purchase extra amenities on their website, such as their wax stick. They also have a holding styling gel and a bunch of other things that I'm pretty sure you guys will appreciate and like. Now I am using the Got To Be Insta Hold Hairspray and I'm gonna just be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this one because it does leave like a white residue on your lace. So the best thing for me would to suggest to you guys is if you are gonna be using that hairspray, I would definitely just allow it to air dry in certain small sections because putting heat on it, I've noticed that it has a white residue. So I'm gonna go back to my old can, which is the Glam Force. This to me gives the same exact threshold of the Insta Hold. It also dries really quick. It also holds really, really well. But the one thing that I do appreciate about the Glam Force is it doesn't leave like a white filmy residue as the Insta Hold does instantly. So I do prefer the Glam Force. But girl, you know, I'm definitely going to use the rest of the hairspray in the Insta Hold can. And because I forgot to bring my rat tail comb on set, I'm just gonna use this edge um, brush, this edge comb just to make a part and also do any type of flyaway hairs or baby hairs. Now I decided I wanted my part on the left side and I'm just gonna put a little bit of that wax stick and just press the part down. If you don't have a hot comb and you do wanna make a part in any of your wigs, the best time to do that would be once you've washed it, rinsed it, conditioned it, and rinsed it again. Once you have conditioned it and rinsed it out, that is when you can go ahead and make a part in your unit, brush it to the side that you want, and just allow it to either air dry or you can blow dry it. Now, because this wig or this lace is so transparent, you really don't need any type of baby hairs or flyaways. I prefer some sideburn hairs and maybe a couple little baby hairs. So I'm just gonna take my thread snip scissors and I'm just going to kind of like bluntly, not bluntly, but kind of like you see, I'm kind of like shredding the hair because I really don't want it to be a crisp blunt cut. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like shred it down. I love these thread snips. You can get them from Amazon. It makes cutting a whole lot easier for me. Or just, you know, it does definitely does. And these are the uh, sideburn hairs that I was referring to. Now, if you see on that hair, there are there is some hairspray. That is from the first one that I used. And one of my all-time favorites is the Salon Selectives Styly Mooch, which is always available at your local Dollar Tree. Yes, the Dollar Tree store where everything is always $1.
the color in this unit is absolutely beautiful it is an ombre and it is 100% human Malaysian hair and just to make my front hairline look a little bit more natural I don't uh, brush them back straight I kind of give the hairline a little curved brush so that way it just sits a little bit more natural and just to hold down those flyaways excuse me not the flyaways but the baby hairs and sideburns I do take an elastic band and I allow that to rest upon it until I'm done styling and I do allow I do put in the styling mousse in my hair as well because this will hold the curl and there you have it you guys you've seen me curl my hair a million times so I'm not going to explain that but I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'm going to see you guys on the other side. Okay. All right, you guys, so I'm done. I got to run out the door, but it's real important to make sure you co-wash your wigs before you wear them, for real. Even if it's perfect, good to go, you don't gotta do anything to it, the most important thing is co-washing it. It will definitely change the whole game of curling, hair taming, frizziness, flyaways, it'll do all of that. So that was my downfall because I was so excited to get this wig and just put it on. I didn't have to do anything. It came out real cute still, regardless. I didn't pluck it, bleach it tame it you know hey the end the sides look beautiful like look at this the sides look absolutely gorgeous on this unit you can definitely just be a beginner wig wearer and rock this like this is the first time i've never bleached well no it's not it's not the first time but this is the first time that i went so crazy as to not wash bleach pluck like i, I just was like on a roll with this one so you know i'm just saying my first wigs got some really nice wigs they are definitely beginner friendly friendly and they are every week wearer friendly like you don't have to do anything the hairline is superb on this throw her up in a bun hun throw up in a ponytail some cornrows whatever you guys they have some amazing units and i'm so glad that i did this one i love them i love rpg show their sister side you know what i say those two are my fave fave favorites like for real hands down they have amazing wigs and the lace just like melts in your head girl like seriously so i'll leave all of the information down below for this unit you guys make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up i got to go i gotta run out the dough gotta get my grandson from his little place of business so i'll go hope you all have a great week and show some love leave your comments share the video thumbs it up subscribe all that good stuff you know let me know what you think of this one like for real, this one is so cute. Looks like my other one. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go.